hybridization in the chemical bonding we learnt that the bond energy or the strength of bonds is explained using the concept of hybridization this concept was introduced by linus pauling 1931 linus pauling is the only person ever to receive two unshared nobel prizes for chemistry 1954 and for peace 1962 The redistribution of orbitals of almost equal energy in individual atoms to give equal number of new orbitals of equivalent energy is called hybridization. The newly produced orbitals are called as hybrid orbitals. Mainly, the hybridization process can be categorically divided into different types as sp3 hybridization, sp2 hybridization and sp hybridization respectively. Click each tab to learn more. SP3 hybridization. An excited carbon atom has one s orbital, two s, and three p orbitals. These orbitals overlap to produce four hybrid orbitals, known as SP3 hybridization or tetrahedral hybridization. Hence, these orbitals are called SP3 hybridized orbitals. As per Hund's rule. Hybridized orbitals contain one unpaired electron each of equal energies in them. The carbon atom can bond with other four atoms of its own or atoms of some other monovalent element. If a carbon atom reacts with four hydrogen atoms, these four atoms allocate their s orbitals having one electron each to overlap the sp3 orbitals of carbon atom. So The sp3 hybridized orbitals oriented at an angle of 109 degrees to 82. This shows the way in which four sp3 s sigma bonds among carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms are formed. All the four bonds have equal energy. sp2 hybridization Now let us see the ability of carbon atom to form two single covalent bonds and one double bond under sp2 hybridization let us consider ethane c2h4 molecule as the example of sp2 hybridization the molecule in the excited state where each carbon atom allows one s orbital 2s and two p orbitals say 2px 2py to intermix and reshuffle into 3 sp2 orbitals hence each carbon atom is sp2 hybridized in this way 3 sp2 orbitals are generated for each carbon atom and get separated around the nuclei of carbon atom at angle of 120 degrees one sp2 orbital of each carbon atom forms a sigma bond by overlapping between carbon atoms The remaining two sp2 orbitals of each carbon atom overlap with one s orbital of hydrogen atom which having unpaired electrons and produces two sigma bonds totally four bonds the unhybridized orbitals say pz of each carbon atom form a pi bond pi by the sidewise overlapping between two carbon atoms that implies there exists a sigma sp2s sigma bond and pi pz pz pi bond between two carbon atoms in ethene molecule sp hybridization in an excited carbon state the process of hybridization in which one s orbital and one p orbital overlap to form two new hybrid orbitals is known as sp hybridization because they are made by an s orbital and a p orbital recognizing themselves this type of hybridization is also called diagonal hybridization these orbital are at an angle of 180 degrees let us consider ethane c2h2 molecule as a example to know the ability of carbon atom to form one single bond and one triple bond in the excited state 
each carbon atom allows one s orbital 2s and one p orbital say 2px to intermix and reshuffle into two sp hybridized orbitals the other two 2p orbitals py and pz do not participate in the hybridization and also lies perpendicular to the plane of sp orbital one sp orbital of a carbon overlaps with the sp orbital of other carbon to give a sp sp sigma bond the remaining sp orbital of each carbon atom overlap with 1s orbital of hydrogen atom which having unpaid electrons and produces two s sp sigma bonds the unhybridized py and pz orbitals of each carbon atom forms two pi bonds by the parallel overlapping between two carbon atoms say pi py py pi pz pz that implies there exist three sigma bonds and two pi bonds in this ethyne molecule hybridization the image which is shown on the screen gives a clear idea about the sp3 sp2 and sp hybridization 